it's always good being home. You got a lot of people here for you? Yeah, I got a nice, nice little bit. I mean, I ain't really get everybody out, but a nice little crowd. You got a lot of requests, though, right? Yeah, got kind of numbers. <laughs> this is your first game in the NBA at MSG? Um, actually, yeah, this is my first. Actually, this is my first game ever in MSG. What you feeling? What you think? I felt good. Um, I'm excited. Uh, I don't know. It's like to me, I was out there shooting. Felt like I was in my backyard. I wasn't missing. So. I'm feeling good though. Feeling any special, good. any different than a regular day? Um, I mean it's a regular game, but you know at the same time I know for me that's even being a it's like another home home game us for me in New York. You know what I'm saying? And just to play in front of my you know peoples and my friends and stuff. Um, I think it makes it more exciting. Yeah, I mean when I saw you this summer playing Pro City a little bit. How do you got to change your game from here to there to here, here to there? Oh, um, it's easy. Uh, cause I've been playing this. My whole life, you know, street ball. I really wasn't, you know, no crazy street ball player. But um, I mean, I've been doing this my whole life, so it's nothing really, to, really to change. So, thanks. All right. So, how, how fun is it, like, going, going from Baruch Funsport to to here? Um, I mean, it's like night and day, you know. Like, I look at Baruch as, you know, kind of like in the daytime, you know, playing your evening game and. You're trying to get better so you can play the premier game or prime time game at night. And uh, I mean, playing here in the Garden, you know, in the NBA is, I mean, it's probably the best you can come by. Now talk about the competition in Baruch at Fun Sport. How tough is it? Well, I mean, you got you guys, you got some good talent there. You know, guys look underneath <laughs> the radar. Um, I mean, they don't keep, they don't compare to the NBA, but you know, at the same time, for some, you know, in a in your off season, I think it's the you know some good as a street ball tournament, you know, organized you know professionals to play in. What's it mean to be back home and in the NBA? What's it mean to be in the NBA? Home oh, means a lot. Uh, a lot of people wish to have dreams of playing in the NBA. They don't get the opportunity, and uh, just for me to you know be on the court, you know, it's my second year, and I mean it's, it's special. You know, I just want to you know take every moment and try to. Have a long lasting career. Did you think Utah was going to bring you back? Um, I didn't really know. It was it's kind of numbers game, you know. Um, it wasn't really probably my, on my play, but uh, the good thing about it is when you're playing out here, you're always playing for, you know, 29 other teams. So Once you tasted the NBA last year, did you want to get back here even more? Yeah. Um, I mean, I was going into the season with Utah. I went to training camp with them. And uh, they decided to go elsewhere. And then two weeks later, I'm here. So, um, you ever get nervous at all that someone won't pick you up? Nah. I never, not one, not one second I was nervous at all. I knew I was good enough. Um, it's just a matter of you just getting an opportunity to play and, you know, present your game on the court. Yeah, I mean, do you have a, let's say, a fair memory of some ball in New York, you know? No, no, no. Um, probably, uh, I think it was uh, 100 college, maybe like two years ago, I had like 55 points in the game against Omar Cook. And aside from, uh, the, aside from you know, the big shot in Utah, any fair NBA memory? Um, I mean, that was my biggest memory, but probably the playoffs, you know, playing in the playoffs, um, getting to the second round. And uh, the energy and excitement just in the playoff atmosphere of basketball is, is crazy. It doesn't compare to anything, right? Nah, it's, it goes to another level. Guys, you know, they step their game up and, you know, playoff basketball is, is what you need to be at. When you hit that shot, did you know it would become as big as it has? Like, that's what you're known for? Nah, I didn't. Nah, I really didn't. Um, I thought I hit the shot. I mean, I, I thought about it like, you know, I hit a game when it was good and all, but I didn't think it would blow up and be as big as it, it did, but at the same time, I'm happy for it. And, um, you know, it just comes from hard work and being persistent, and, uh, you know, staying in the gym, working on my game. So. Yeah, what do you think you still need to work on? Um, well, it's a lot of little things, you know. Um, my shots came a long way. It's a whole lot better. I want to continue to work on that. Uh, as far as, you know, my decision making as a point guard, um, and uh, just pretty much, you know, when you know, I get my opportunity to play, just try to maximize, you know, every minute and uh, try to become better. So. We're going to see you back out here this summer out in the parks? 
I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You giving it up already? You have to say yes. You retired already? I don't, I don't know. Already? We gotta, we gotta see how this uh, NBA holding out. They gonna, they gonna have this lockout or not? <laughs> how, how was it? Uh, John Franchise Strickland was your coach at uh, Baruch. How was it like being, like knowing him? What you, what was your best memories about him? Man, he was a. Uh, to me, I think he was a great guy. You know, he had a great spirit and personality to him. Um, I mean, say, at the same time, you know, he played in street ball. He, he's pretty, you know, popular and known around the city. And uh, but I think, you know, his charisma and just his whole energy. Um, he was always willing to, you know, help a player out. You know, try to make him better. And uh, like I said, he was a great guy. You know, I, ha I hate to see you know somebody special like that and people's lives go away. You know, from the pass away like that. But um, I think he definitely left a mark on you know his life on uh, all the legendary legendary things he done. <laughs> Thank you.